all too often in government, we deal with rules, we deal with regulations, we deal with, uh, with obstacles and reasons why we can't do something. We forget that we're here to serve people. I think when we brought the community in and they talked about their frustrations with this system, the system that no longer served the needs of the people it was supposed to serve, it became obvious that government had forgotten exactly, uh, that rules aren't the most important thing, that service is the most important thing. In the past, there were serious concerns that Valley Metro's dial-a-ride services operated under complicated and inconsistent rules throughout the metro area, creating an unpleasant experience for some of its most vulnerable clients. Well, this project came out of a, uh, of a study that uh, was performed by Valley Metro about three years ago, where we looked at how we provide services to those who can't get on a regular bus, those who require uh, dial-a-ride services. And what we realized is that where we would like to have a regional system, we really had a quilt, uh, where we had seven different, very distinct areas and service providers, and that those rules were so different that they created real obstacles for people to get around in our valley. A technical working group was formed to address the service's weaknesses. Stakeholders included staff members from each Valley Metro agency, dial-a-ride users, and other members from the senior and disability advocacy communities. The most important development that came out of this was the elimination of, of boundaries. Uh, you can pick up a dial-a-ride uh, in Mesa and go to Phoenix without having to change uh, cars. You can actually cross boundaries of these, of these districts that work. By streamlining the dial-a-ride services in this way, riders would no longer have to switch vehicles from region to region, often waiting for their next ride in harsh temperatures. The other thing that was out of the recommendation that's been changed is the hours that, that services are provided and the way that you can make a, a reservation. There used to be wide varieties and variations between the different areas as to when you could take a dial-a-ride, which obviously created problems. And in eliminating these kinds of obstacles, Valley Metro hopes to maximize the freedom of movement that dial-a-ride services were initially created to provide. I am thankful to Mayor Stanton and to all those on the commission for recognizing this and for, and for celebrating this. Uh, these are things that should be celebrated. When good things happen in the community, there, there's, there's no reason why you shouldn't come together and, and recognize those good things and celebrate them. And I thank them for uh, uh, giving us the opportunity to share this story, which is truly a, a community story.